25 years ago that my father found him. He was torn to pieces and half eaten. Whatever did it was big, and Buckshot couldn't kill it. After that, my father went home and cast silver bullets. Wouldn't leave the house. Lo and behold, the prodigal son returns. Hello, father. You've come for the funeral. What happened? Your brother's body was found in a ditch. They've been torn to pieces. If there's anything you need, please let me know. I want to know what happened to him. Francis Abilene, Scotland Yard. I cannot stress enough the mortal peril you're in. What kind of animal could have done such a thing? You're risking your life. Darkness comes for you. He's been quite seriously injured. Thank you for staying with me. Now we know it's still out there. You were bitten by the beast. You bear his mark now. Do you believe in curses? <laughs> you have to leave. What are you afraid of? There are those who doubt the power. You change men into beasts. A beast has come among us. Terrible things, Lawrence. You've done terrible things. Strong, sir. Be strong. I am what they say I am. You! Let me help you. Beast will have its day. or dead in the scene, but together forever. United against life as we know it. Let's get out of here. Kitchen! What was it? A big dog, maybe? Whoa. Whoa? That's it? Whoa? Think you see werewolves a lot? Did I change last night? How would the moon? How do you feel? Wicked. This is a very confusing time for your sister. Ah! Boys, they're potty, trying to fit in. Hey, hey, take it easy. Who's the guy? <laughs> <laughs> She's pretty. If I wasn't here, would you eat her? Poor bee. I'm growing up, and obviously you're not. Ah! Oh my god. You think I want to go back to being nobody? You're so dead. Ah! They're just being normal teenage girls. I'm not dying in this room with you! Come on, come on. I'm not dying! Come on. I think she's gone. Daniel! You know, we're almost not even related anymore. Three fifty nine service to Eastborough. Tickets, please. I see ticket, please. Thank you. It was such a great night. You should have been there. This is the driver. Seems we uh, hit something on the line. We should be on our way shortly.
broken down just outside Eastbrook. What does the driver say? Is the train broken down or not? He's working on it. <laughs> the station can't be more than, what, two miles walk? We follow the tracks, we'll all stay together. I don't see there'll be a problem. What is it? Run! Back on the train, everyone! Go, go, go! It's coming! Full of bear bait. It wasn't a bear. Bears don't help. It's back. be something wild within. You've been sleeping all day. How do you feel? I feel... Uh, good. It is Mexican. Independence Day. I never thought I'd meet a good man who looked at me the way you do. You don't know I'm a good man. Are you crazy? No. I'm just marking my territory. You got five new murders. What is there about a full moon? now. Yes. Power without guilt. Love without doubt. It feels good to be a wolf. Don't look so scared. are happening. Things I can't explain. Ellie? What's wrong? Just having a really bad day. Can I help? Last night, a young woman was attacked and killed. Are you okay? What was that? My dog. What kind of dog do you have? I have a regular dog. Something's wrong. The only way you can break the curse is to kill the person who started it all. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I just, I needed to talk to you. After that, whenever the moon was full, it happened again.
and again. What was that? It's over there. Oh, boy, that me? Nobody knew who or what was responsible. Come on. They only knew it had to be stopped. Now, from the master of mystery and suspense, Steve. report said they were attacked by an escaped lunatic. Must have been a very powerful man. Jack and I were not attacked by a man. It's an animal. A wolf. Did he say a wolf? Yes, I believe he did. Did you get a good look at the man who attacked you? Doctor, my memory is fine. It's my sanity I'm beginning to worry about. Never had bad dreams before? Well, sure, as a kid, but never so real, never so weird. I'm going to look into your eyes. <laughs> Jack was just here. <laughs> your dead friend, Jack. Hi, David! He told me that I will become a monster in two days. The supernatural, the power of darkness, it's all true. Please believe me. Believe what? That tomorrow night, beneath the full moon, I'll sprout hair and fangs and eat people? You'd be surprised what horrors a man is capable of. Are you all right now? I don't know. I'll let you know the next full moon. I'm a werewolf. You're gonna change. You'll kill people. You'll become... I know. A monster. David, don't lose control! No control? What control? David, I can help you. No, I'm not safe to be with. You gotta stay away from me. Run! And everybody dies in it. see you, but you, you smell beautiful. Did you just move next door? sign of this assailant. It's just an animal attack. This has happened before. Attacks like these happen all the time. Please, stay in your house, keep the doors closed until we sort this out, okay? Seems like such a nice place to live. People don't come to places like this to live. I'm here to die. Can you make silver bullets? Yeah. Can you do silver shotgun shells?
I love it when a posh bear talks dirty. Somewhere in these woods, in this primal, sensuous, secret place, lies an experience too terrifying for words. And now, all anyone can do is watch and wait. Tonight, I'm going to show you something. Make you believe. <laughs> the howling. 